Greetings, it's Sally Tation, it's DC Vizier, and here, welcome to another episode of the vlog. Um, today is actually our party for John for his birthday and his graduation, and we have a lot of food to cook, but luckily, our friends over at Omark, I believe is how you pronounce it, have sent over a brand new extra large air fryer for me to try out. You guys know how much mom and I love air fryers, right mom? Yeah. Mom's in the kitchen cooking right now, she's over there. But, um, we're gonna open up this baby. I haven't seen it yet, just got it in the mail. And I am super duper excited. You guys know how much mom and I love a good air fryer. And if you guys are interested at all in this... Oh, mom's... Come here, mom, say hi. No, 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 just say hi, just come over here. Hi. Look at mom's little apron, she looks so cute. But, mom wants to see the air fryer, so... Yes, yeah, so I want to see what kind. Ooh. Okay, Ooh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift it out and then just put the box. This is huge. Alright, so here we are. It comes with this OMORC is the brand. Um, I'm gonna have a link down below that you guys can use if you guys want to get this and get 30% off. So you guys can try it out. Again, also this video is not sponsored. They just sent this to me to try out. And yeah. I'm anticipating it being a really great air fryer. So. We will all see together. We have some fried chicken that we're going to be making in this. Oh, oh, here comes oh. in another box. Wow, this is a wow, lot of boxes. Wow, so fancy. Okay, mom. Lots of boxes. Mm. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, good thing I have a Vanna White now. Alright. Third box. Third box <laughs> is the charm. Alright, mom. Oh my god. Okay. So this one is a extra large digital air fryer. Ooh. I believe this is the largest size that um, this brand carries. And I think it's one of the largest sizes um, of air fryers in general. So we are... Wow. Fancy. Ooh, okay. It has like a little twist tie right here. Let's see, let's see. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so it's a digital air fryer, so like the numbers are all digital on there, and let's see how big that door is. Oh, it's still tasting good. Let's see. Oh, it is like the same size. The same size. But... No, no, you have to push the... No, yeah. Push it forward? Oh! Mom knows how to use this better than I do. <laughs> this is a good size to consider a whole chicken. So... Yes. Super duper excited. We're gonna read the directions really quick. We're gonna plug in this baby so we can try it out. We have to wash this. Mom's gonna wash that. I'm super excited you guys. I love air fried fried chicken and it tastes just like fried chicken but without all that nasty oil and mom what kind of did we make um fried adobo chicken is that the recipe? Uh the one is the baby and the other one is uh Okay, so we made two different kinds of fried chicken. Oh, There's... John yeah, John likes our original fried chicken. Um, it's it's like a Filipino fried chicken with vinegar, salt, pepper, and tons of garlic. Um, if you message mom on Instagram at Adrian's mom, I'm gonna have her link down below. She'll gladly give you the recipe. <laughs> and we also have the peri peri chicken, which we have been making um, quite frequently the past few months that we are so obsessed with. It's so good. It's pretty much just like this, uh, it's like a seasoning. Is it, is it from South Africa, Mom? Is that where it's from? The recipe? South African recipe that Mom found. So she'll also share that with you if you guys message her on Instagram. She'll probably have it listed on her Instagram as well if you guys want to check that out. But for right now, I'm going to go find somewhere to plug this guy in, and we are gonna start making some fried chicken. I am so excited. Okay, so we're gonna get this air fryer set up. 
Um, I wish we could do cooking outside, but the rain is already starting to come. It was super sunny this morning, but it's supposed to rain for a few hours starting at noon. It's almost noon, and the clouds had just came from nowhere. Like, I don't know. The, the weather app has never been more right than right now. Uh, as you can see, John's over there. He's trying to um, cook some food already for before the rain comes. I think he's almost done. But I think I'm going to be cooking out here amongst the cushions. Uh, on the little table right there because I know John's probably eating on the barbecue. Mom's over here. Let me show you guys what she's making. Currently, what is this? Ooh, she's making some beef, stir fry beef, and over here I have my little soda stand. We're gonna put ice inside here um, later. John. <laughs> I don't know why you put the water right there. Um, this is Big Ziti. Don't want to open it because it's going to get all gross. Uh, but right here we have... Oh, there's thunder. Mom, do you hear the thunder? Yeah. My gosh. It was, like the house was shaking. <laughs> so we have um, fried rice right there. And right here is the chow mein. Oh, look at the steam come out. Yum. Okay, so super yummy. Super excited. Uh, oh, this is the tripod I was just using. Um, but yeah, so... This is, mom also made, this is uh, the start of the orange chicken. It's perfect because she already fried it, then we're just going to add... Oh, sweet and sour. Oh, sweet and sour chicken. She's making sweet and sour chicken. The chicken's already fried up, and then she's going to add the sauce later, so it'll be nice and warm. And, yeah, so let's get to, let's get to cooking. Hey guys, okay, so we are outside. Um, excuse the mess, again, all like, I'm like with the cushions right now in cushion land. And we just have everything in this covered area because it's about to start raining. But I'm out here to cook um, on my little cooking table. I have the air fryer right here, which I am very, very, very excited to try out. I have our two types of chicken right here um, sitting in front of me. This is the peri peri chicken. Let me show you guys what this looks like. It kind of has like a yellowish cast to it. Right there. Yum. But I think I'm gonna do the regular fried chicken first, which is John's favorite. So that way while I'm cooking and John's cooking over there, I can just eat all of it by myself. He's back there right now listening to me. He's not amused. So there, oh, I think I'm gonna put this over here. Is that, and then here is the other chicken. This one is so good. This is like our tried and true, like our original chicken that we used to eat when we were children and still love to this day. It's John's favorite. Um, so again, I said it was, when I make it, I don't have like an exact recipe. I just use vinegar, salt, pepper, and tons of garlic, and just let them all marinate together at least for 24 hours because, oh, there's John right there. Because chicken does need a little bit longer than beef to um, marinate. So we're going to do this one first. I have my tongs right here, and we're just going to fill up this guy. And whenever I use the air fryer for frying chicken like this, uh, I make sure not to overlap the chicken because you want it, the chicken to have space for the air to penetrate in and to fry the chicken nice and evenly. And I find that if you do not allow that to happen, then you get some kind of like less crispy parts and you have to cook it for longer. So I just like to make sure that everything has space base inside to fry evenly and nicely and that way it ensures a deliciously cooked chicken. <laughs> um, this is such a great size though. Uh, I, I think it's as big as the other one that I have but let's see how well the cooking does on this one. Um, air fryers typically cook pretty quickly. Uh, when I cook this chicken normally in an air fryer um, it takes it usually takes about like 20 five minutes because 25 30 depending um because i like to make sure that the chicken is nice and crispy to my liking um so again you can really i think it, you only need about like 15 to 20 minutes to cook it through to make sure it's not um raw inside anymore but i just like to make sure that the skin is extra crispy so um i have it so here it is. I just have like a nice and even um, like distribution of the chicken inside. And now let's see how long this takes to... Can you guys hear the cows? They are so loud right now. They like want to be in the video. Okay, so let's turn this on. 
We're gonna set it to the highest heat setting. Which is gonna be to chicken. This is cool because it actually has, actually let me bring you guys over so I can show you. It's super cool. Boop. There you are. You can actually change the settings. So I'm putting on chicken. We're gonna do it for 25 minutes. And then now we're starting it. Push it in and now it's going. So we're gonna sit here, wait the 25 minutes. It's at 360 degrees, which is the optimal heat setting for chicken, which is nice. So it takes out a lot of the guesswork um, for like that's french fries. Uh, I don't exactly know what that is. Shrimp. Um, I think that's for baking, because you can bake in this as well. That's the chicken, there's the steak, and then there's the fish. And I don't know what that setting is for. I didn't really look through the, the instructions to see what that was for. But um, yeah, we're primarily here for that chicken, which I'm very excited about. But I'm hoping um, that this is going to be really great. So we're going to, we have the 25 minutes. That's, a, that's the optimal time, I guess, for um, a chicken to cook thoroughly. So I'll be back in 25 minutes and we're just going to see how this works out together. I'm excited. While we're waiting for the chicken to cook, John has brought me some beef on the steak, which he has been making. Let me test it out, John. Mmm, so good. Okay, so come over here. It has been raining intensely, so everything's still covered up. But we are over here. John's using our egg to cook the chicken. This looks like it's your last batch? Yep. Last batch. Yum! So there's, ooh, there's all the beef. Wow, you have a soda. You got a whole little setup right here. There's the beef, yummy. So good. As you can see out here, the clouds have rolled in. Literally, I went outside this morning, didn't see a cloud in the sky, and I was like, oh, it's probably not gonna rain. And then, these clouds literally came from nowhere. And <laughs> it's, it's intense. So, yeah, we're taking advantage of it not raining to be able to barbecue outside still. John's already done, which is great. I'm over here in this mess, <laughs> cooking some chicken. All right, you guys, so how do you like your new beanbag chair? It's good. Yeah, you like it? We can't, we can't sit on the couch until like Monday. Yeah, you can't sit on the couch until Monday, until after the party, because you guys are going to mess it up. So that's why I got you guys this cool beanbag chair. See? I had seen that before before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably not, I probably... Guys, here's that beef that mom just made. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I cannot wait to eat it. Oh, everything's so yummy. Oh my gosh, you guys, the last addition in this lineup is the sweet and sour chicken. So yummy. All right, you guys, check out the food. So we have the sweet and sour chicken. Then we have the beef saute. Then we have our delicious looking chow mein our fried rice, and last but not least, the big city. There's more to come, but this is what we have in the, in like the food warmers right now. So, yum! Okay, so here's the chicken after 20, what was it, 25 minutes? Um, it's definitely cooked all the way through, just not as crispy as I would like. So, I'm gonna leave it in for a little bit longer. All right, you guys, the chicken looks really good and crispy. All right, birthday boy. You gotta try the first one and let us know your thoughts. The reach. Ooh, you can hear the crunch. How is it? Delicious? One out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even on the one to ten scale, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Alright you guys, so I'm cooking, but I'm also premiering this video right here. And I'm chatting with all of you guys. So much fun. Mom's over there in the kitchen. She says hi. Mom, say hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. 
<laughs> She's like not paying attention right now. But <laughs> back to the premiere. <laughs> so quickly running out of the house because I'm gonna buy John a birthday cake. He wants an ice cream cake and everyone enjoys and the good ice cream cake. So that's what I'm gonna get. And I'm gonna get some strawberries so mom can make some chocolate covered strawberries. So let's head over to Albertsons. Also, can we look at how foreboding those clouds are? They are very dark. Um, it's been raining on and off, but I feel like it's gonna start raining pretty hard pretty soon. Now this is so random, but um, I got this little mini wet brush from the Goodwill. They were selling them for I think a dollar fifty each, and I was like, okay, like I want to keep a brush inside the car, um, so I can like brush my hair if I, <clears throat> excuse me, wanted to. And it's really weird because this is so random, um, but I. I have been using a Denman brush for like the past few years and if you've ever used a Denman brush like You would know how it feels on your head like it's very um the bristles are like Very stiff and I don't know they kind of massage your head I really like the way it feels and so does mom But dad and John and my sister and like my mom and I are the only ones that like the way it feels and it's supposed to be great for uh Like for stimulating your scalp and I think it's awesome honestly um and i feel like it really does stimulate your scalp and help your hair grow because my hair grows my hair has always grown really fast and typically your hair grows about half an inch a month okay literally my hair grows like eight inch a month but i don't know maybe i just have really like extreme hair growth but um i don't know that i think i, att I attribute some of that intense hair growing to the Demon brush but it feels so different like honestly I feel like I have no feeling in my scalp anymore when it comes to any other brushes and I like feel nothing when I use this on my head like I feel like it doesn't even touch my head at all which is really strange uh but anyway I'm gonna stop talking we're gonna go to the grocery store <laughs> so random well it started raining but I just got to Albertsons so let's go inside all right I was gonna take you guys in there with me but I don't want you guys to get wet from the rain so I don't think I will I'll see you guys when I come back out. Hey guys, this is the cake that I got. Um, yeah, the guy did a pretty good job writing the thing on there. I, I think what happened was he got a little overzealous with like the happy birthday part, and then he I think he forgot that I was I put I wanted him to put happy birthday and graduation, John, and then it's like happy birthday graduation, and then John's like up in the little corner under the sticker. So it's totally okay. It was an A for an effort or A for effort, and the cake's gonna be delicious regardless. So um, we're gonna go home. I didn't get any strawberries because they ended up being very expensive for a little bushel of strawberries. It was four ninety nine, and the strawberries were tiny and didn't look the most appetizing. So yeah, we had to eighty six that. But let's go home now and see how everyone's doing with the food that's being cooked. I left John in charge of my fried chicken, so hopefully he didn't eat it all. Alright you guys, look at all the food, all the different fried chickens. Beef on a stick, shrimp, egg roll, chicken, or turkey, taco, empanadas. So yummy. Happy birthday! So I'm in my room now and we just finished cleaning up everything and it was such a fun party I'm so sorry I didn't really vlog or anything during the party really other than I think when we sang happy birthday to John um, it, I was just like trying to be in the moment stay present and it was just so much fun um, I, I haven't seen my cousins in like I feel like in a little while like uh, maybe a few months I think the last time I saw them was, yeah, in, during Christmas time. Christmas. And, um, my other cousins that were there, I didn't, haven't seen them since, like, October or something. Like, it was a long time. So, it was just nice reconnecting with everyone and chatting and just catching up. So, that was a lot of fun. The food was delicious. It was so good. And now I am tired. I think it's past midnight. Mom and I stayed up just so we could pretty much clean everything. And now, like, tomorrow, um, 
probably will probably wait till like Tuesday. I'll wait to put away like the other stuff, uh, like to put away the table and all that. Because tomorrow on which is Monday, which is uh, it's President's Day, George Washington's birthday, holiday. <laughs> uh, I do want to go thrifting, so um, should get up bright and early tomorrow morning to go. But also that air fryer is amazing. It is really really good. Uh, I think it's the one of the best ones I've used thus far um it cooks really evenly really really well really nicely and it was yeah and i compared it to the other one that i have it is larger like the compartment inside is larger so you can definitely cook more food so i highly recommend it again in the bottom in the description box i'm going to have the link and the code to get 30 percent off if you guys are interested in purchasing it um but yeah i love you guys so much i'll see you guys all later bye all right, I looked inside the case. There was nothing too exciting. So now I'm back here in the regular handbag section to see. It's actually kind of a cute design, but it's leather. What they have. This looks just like a Balenciaga.